Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome, and this is a new episode. Today I'm going to talk about Pinry. I'm going to install Pinry on Docker. It is a clone, well, say a clone of uh, Pinterest. Now, before I even start, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified. Now, before we start, I also want to say that you need a domain name to make sure you get the actual full benefits of the actual script. Without domain name, really, it will work a lot. You know, it will work properly. So this is the GitHub page and this is the actual getpinry.com. This is all the information you need, all the information and all the links in the description below. Now, let's have a look how it really works. I'm going to click on the demo site. Here we got two different uh, demos and this is exactly how it looks and as, as you can see it's not exactly of course but it works in the same way where you can actually share and share it to the actual page pinry so anyway without any delay guys let's go and let's start now here is my github gist page you can find the code that you would need to get started with uh no this is the correct one pinry here the other one was nginx again if you don't have nginx make sure you can actually click on the link below on the cards so you can actually know how to uh, do things with your main you know you can actually point the domain to the correct uh container so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a stack click on add stack and i'm going to name it pinry again you can actually name it whatever you want and i'm going to paste it now i'm going to change the port 8080 because i already got that one um I think already got that one, so I'm gonna, um, you know, make sure you got 90 there. Um, I know it's not because I got, I think I got Casa OS on this uh, server, so I think that's what I got 8080. But anyway, I'm gonna use 90 to make sure everything works right. Um, now let's go back. So 90. Now another thing you need to do is the volume you need to change it, and you need to go to your Docker installation. I'm going to use um, putty and I'm going to show you exactly where I'm going to put the installation into. For the image, get the pinry slash pinry. That's exactly what you need. This is the actual things you need to change that is the volumes. And I'm going to show you now, um, you know, where I'm going to put it. All right. So I got putty and I'm going to log in with uh, my details. There we go. We are inside. After a few mistakes, I forgot that the it wasn't root, it was something else. But anyway, now we are inside the server and I'm going to start the, well, I'm not going to start the installation. I'm going to show you where I'm going to put the installation. So let's go back here. I'm going to do cd slash var and this is exactly where I'm going to put all the installation file. Again, it's up to you if you're using a different system. Make sure you know exactly where you're going to, you know, install it. This is where I'm going to use it. I'm going to minimize that. And I'm not going to do slash var slash pinry. This is exactly what I'm going to do. Of course, the system automatically will uh, create the folder. So all I'm going to do now is, once I'm happy with that, deploy the stack. After a few seconds, the installation should be done. Of course, it depends on your server, the speed of your server. All right, so the stack has been successfully deployed. Let me close this one here. Let's go to containers. And as you can see, it's on top. That installation is done. I'm going to click on the published ports. That will open a new tab. And as you can see, the installation has been completed. Now I'm going to show you how a little bit it works. Now, as you can see, this, this is the actual IP. I'm going to... Let me close that one first. No, but anyway, now let's go ahead and edit. And I'm going to change the port because I had on, on my test on port 6000. I'm going to change to 90 and I'm going to save it. Now, when I click on peary.opensourcechannel.uk, it should work. And as you can see, everything looks good. All right, as you can see now, you can actually install a app. If you click on install, that will automatically be installed in your computer. So be careful. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to do it. I'm only showing you how I, you know, it's done here. In fact, I am not even going to use it. But I'm going to click on the browser extension. Or you can do it from here if you wanted to. I'm going to click on Chrome because that's what I do. Sorry. That's what I have. And I'm going to install the extension. 
here we go uh, the station has been installed and I'm going to pin it on top so you can actually see it and it looks like it's at the bottom here we go let's do that now that I got the icon on the top bar here so we can actually start and show you how you shed it and it will be pinned on your application so let me close that one there for a second so we use it the actual domain of course don't forget you need to sign up and create an account otherwise it would not work so i'm going to click on sign up i'm going to create a username add my email and the password twice because you need to repeat it all right that's done and i'm going to register that automatically logs me in i'm going to i'm not going to save it i already got the extension here you can create boards here are your pins and you got the pinry bookmarklet make sure if you got an ads uh, blocking plugin for chrome you disable that otherwise it would not work all right all right i almost forgot uh, once you install the actual uh, plugin there you got to go to the pinry options and add the url of the installation this is the reason why you need the domain name otherwise it won't work properly so i'm gonna paste it i'm gonna click uh, outside i think i gotta do that and it goes green that once it's green has been saved so it's an x we exit and we are ready to test it so i'm back to getpinry.com and i'm going to click on the icon and as you can see he already extrapolated the image of the url as you can see there is a new pin it's up to me if i want to make it pri uh, private the image source if i want to add any tags and also if i want to add any description i'm going to select the boards if there is already available or I can write the name of the board and click create a new board that automatically will be added as you can see below then all i gotta do is create pin and the pin has been created now if i go back to the website and i'm gonna click on the logo as you can see here now we got the pin has been created with all the information all the links and the tags that has been created for the website so anyway guys thanks so much for join me don't forget that you can find all the information in the description below i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as i did making it don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell icon and i'll see you next time